Hey everybody, how's it going? Alec and Steph here, and today I am so, so excited to watch what we are about to watch today, or rather in the last 24 hours, Universal Studios Japan, unexpectedly, just out of nowhere, posted this teaser trailer for Super Nintendo World. Now, if you don't know what Super Nintendo World is, it's the theme park that Nintendo's partnering with Universal Studios with to uh, basically just bring the Mario environments and other Nintendo properties to life through a theme park so it's essentially a nintendo theme park and that gets me really excited not only because i'm a fan of nintendo but because i've been wanting this for so so long i remember when i was really little and thinking to myself like wow what if there was a real place that i could go to where i could become a real photographer like in pokemon snap what if i could just play pokemon snap in real life <laughs> right and those are the kind of thoughts i was having what like over 10 years ago at this point so it's been a long time coming for this thing to finally become a reality and now that it is and we have a trailer you, you can just imagine how excited i am so i even got my uh nintendo swag right now i'm wearing it in honor of today so i haven't seen anything of this uh prior to what we're about to watch other than a few pictures and it's been really hard trying to avoid spoilers for the thing but I wanted to save my first reaction for now and just kind of get my- Anyways, I don't even want to talk anymore, I just want to play it, so here we go. Man. And just- Oh, there's a warp pipe going to the kingdom. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! Look at all the layers to the backgrounds and the piranha plants! Bowser's castle. Wow, this- Holy cow. And look at those environments. Look at the... <laughs> what the... That was it? That was it? No. No way. No, 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 no. No, I want to watch this over again. Just, just please. Just give me more. I want to see more. I mean, I mean, just, just look. Look at that environment. That is insane. Can you imagine being able to scale that mountain over there in the background all the way up to the flagpole? And on the, on the left, you have, um, like, all those piranha plants and just all the multi-layering. And in the background, you have Bowser's castle. I mean, holy cow, the possibilities with this stuff is endless. And right here, you go... Oh, man, I have so many ideas flowing through my head. Actually, uh, quick plug real quick. I actually did make a video on this uh, some time ago about the six things that I wanted to see from Super Nintendo World. And, um, man, it's just... Just look at that. Oh, not, not, not that. Look at that. I mean, ah, gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I mean, first of all, just the idea of being able to walk around the Mushroom Kingdom like that is just fantastic. Dream come true for me. But the amount of possibilities and the amount of um, just sheer potential that you would have for incorporating your properties into something like a theme park is just the sky is the limit at that point i mean you got stuff like luigi's mansion would be a great addition to something like this it'd be a good scary ride it'd be you know not exactly scary but luigi's mansion is not scary but something along those lines you know um you could have mario kart like bumper cars i don't know uh you could have a real mario party not the one with the cart where everyone's traveling at once don't you don't don't get it confused no we're talking about the good ones here um <laughs> so you could do that you could incorporate all the mario sports into like their own their own thing like disney's doing with their uh like the espn place i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head Wide World of Sports. Disney's Wide World of Sports. But anyways, that's irrelevant. So, the just, just the point I'm trying to get across here is that I am just so excited about Nintendo as a theme park and the amount of things that you could do with a theme park and the Nintendo properties. And again, as I've said before in this video already, is just, you know, and oh man, it's impossible to even fathom. But... That was the trailer. There's not too much that it gives you to, uh, as a, it's, it's a teaser trailer, so it's done, it's done its job by teasing me so much that I want more, but, um, I, I, oh, man, that is just fantastic. Oh, yes. Looks like they held a little ceremony in honor of this announcement, too. Or not announcement, but just t trailer to go along with it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my gosh, that is adorable! Oh, he's gonna do it! <laughs> I love this! 
And they could do like shows too at Nintendo World, like uh, Disney does with like Aladdin and Indiana Jones. They could do stuff like this. I would watch that. Hello. What is going on? What is going on? Hey, it's Miyamoto! Super Nintendo World builds on the success of what we've had before. Uh, yeah. And it includes Universal Wonderland, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Okay, so this is kind of going like as an addition to it, but it's going to be its own so standalone we'll thing, similar to Harry Potter and whatnot. We'll have different levels, and we'll offer our guests a unique experience. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna pause it here so I don't talk over him. That is interesting terminology when he means different levels. Does that mean like is levels the term that he's using for different areas or does he mean multi-level like we were seeing in the trailer? If it's multi-level that would be awesome because uh, as far as I know that's a newer concept in terms of theme park design. So that has the potential to be really cool. I mean, imagine the viewpoints, the vantage points that you would have over the entire Mushroom Kingdom if it was multi-level like that, getting to the top and just being able to just admire the beauty and grace that is Super Nintendo. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm geeking out. We're going to keep continuing. <laughs> international and domestic guests a complete immersive experience, which will have attractions, mm -hmm. retail, and restaurants. Ooh, that's another thing, actually, is restaurants. This was also included in my top six things that I want from Super Nintendo World. I like a Kirby-themed restaurant, but I'm also kind of thinking of maybe something like Peach's Ice Cream or, like, Peach's Cake Shop, like a bakery, because that's what she does in um, in some of the Mario games, like Paper Mario and even Super Mario 64. Um, you could also have, like, mushroom-themed dishes. I don't really like mushrooms, but if it's got Mario on it and it's got the Nintendo logo, I'll eat it! <laughs> That is just how much I love the t Anyways, we're gonna keep going. I oh man, I love this idea so much. And that is to let the world know that a key part of Super Nintendo World will be the Mario Kart experience. Mario Kart! He just confirmed it. Okay, so what? <laughs> what is that? Okay, what does it mean? technological attraction that we could possibly imagine and we know the fans and our guests ah! are going to be thrilled to experience it okay wow we just confirmed mario kart and um it sounds like from the way he was talking it's going to be a completely new idea so it's not really going to be similar in function to like anything else we've seen before which is really cool because i am totally excited and i was thinking in my head like well Something in, like, the Cars place in Disney World kind of has a sort of similar functionality to it. But anyways, oh, man, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, I, mean, I know I'm not speaking coherent sentences anymore, but that's just because I'm so excited. <laughs> Miyamoto, I love you. I'm very excited to step into Nintendo World. So am I. I am very excited to do I'll travel to Japan to step into that place. As a matter of fact, I will... That is... That is adorable. I love it. <laughs> oh, look at that. They've got fireworks, too. And confetti and piranha plants. and Wow, that was adorable. So anyways, as I was saying, I think that I'm going to make it official right now that I'm going to promise to myself, future self, that I'm going to be there the first day that this place opens. I know it's going to be really crowded, it's going to be international, and you're going to be kind of nervous and scared because it's halfway across the world, you don't know anything about it, but you are going to be there, gosh darn it, you have to be there to see Miyamoto and all the other things and stuff and wonderful attractions that will be there, so future Alec. Just, just remember that. Hold, hold me to it. So, let's talk a little bit about what we just saw. So, we saw the beautiful teaser trailer for Super Nintendo World. It's got uh, mostly CG graphics in there, kind of, you know, that's basically all we have to work with right now because obviously construction's not that far along, but it kind of gives you a good idea of kind of what they're going for for this kind of theme park. And they said it's going to be multi-level, 
So as you were seeing Mario jump up and up uh, further and further up to the flagpole, that's kind of what I imagine that they're going for is um, basically a verticality to it. And I think that's really cool because as I said earlier, as far as I know, I think that's a newer design concept for theme parks. And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know for sure, but I believe it is. Um, so yeah, that's a cool thing. And another cool thing is that uh, Mario Kart has been confirmed as an attraction. So one of the six things that I wanted out of Super Nintendo World in that video that I'll leave a link to in, down in the description down below is coming, is, be is becoming a reality. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. It's being branded as a new experience and something that people have never seen before. So I'm totally excited for that. And plus, who doesn't want to cream their friends in Mario Kart in real life? I mean, come on. <laughs> I already do that enough virtually through the games. I might as well just bring that one step further and just do it in their faces. So that's really exciting. And just, oh man, I don't know what to say anymore. I feel like this whole video is just me going, wow, ah, geek, ooh, that's cool, wow, ah, ugh. But uh, anyways, so that's just about all the information we have on Super Nintendo World at the moment. Regardless of the fact that we don't have much to go on, I am still just beyond excited i'm i made a, i'm making a promise to myself that i'm going to be there on the first day it opens yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say about that but um so yeah we don't have much to go on but regardless i'm super excited it looks very promising i think it has a lot of potential and i think in comparison to harry potter and a few of the other um soul property uh theme parks that they have going right now um, I think Nintendo World has the potential to be one of, if not the biggest, simply because of how big of a household name Nintendo is already. I mean, you can walk up to anyone, practically anyone in the general public, and ask them who Mario is, and they'll most likely give you the answer. Um, so, yeah, I think with that going for it, um, you know, the notoriety of the Nintendo brand, I think a theme park centered around it is just it's going to be a smash hit. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. I mean, for, for goodness sakes, I'm in the US and I'm making a pledge to myself to travel halfway across the world to Japan to be there on the opening day. So if that tells you anything, I'm sure other people will feel the same way. So um, that's just about my thoughts on it though. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think of Super Nintendo World. Are you going to be there when it first opens? Are you excited at all? Um, do you have any doubts? Feel free to let me know in the comments below as I would love to discuss with you guys. And of course, oh my gosh, I just hit my microphone. <laughs> of course, as always, I'm Alec and Stuff and I will see you all again real soon. Bye.